The Chinese Freemasons building at the corner of Pender and Carroll carries the weight of history. A myriad of tenants have passed through over the years, but one, Modernized Tailors, has been a part of Chinatown's fabric for 99 years. My uh, dad uh, started the business in uh, 1913, and uh, they started the, uh, the tailor shop uh, with my mother's help and uh, a few of my uncles. At 89, Bill Wong is still threading the needle and sewing and fitting handmade tailor suits. Well, I just let out everything you got. Along with his brother Jack, they've been working at the shop since they were 12. How old is that machine, Bill? Oh, it must be at least 75 years old, yeah. The machine's 75 yeah. years old? It still makes a very good stitching, yeah. It's a buttonhole with a, with a keyhole, you see? Here's the keyhole. All the tailors, uh, uh, who that can't afford a new sewing, a new buttonhole machine, which costs about $30,000. They bring it in here and we get to do it for them. For Bill and Jack, cutting and stitching wasn't supposed to be their destiny. Their father, Wang Gong Lai, like any immigrant, wanted more for his sons. In the late 1940s, both brothers graduated UBC with an engineering degree. But with rampant institutional racism, finding engineering work with a Chinese background would prove to be difficult. When you graduate, you've got uh, no, no chance to, to uh, work in your profession. Uh, I just uh, went to school because my dad uh, figured, oh, you've got to go to university. Uh, the the uh, race situation here is no good. Who knows, you might have to go back to... Uh, to China or something like that. But then when the war came, uh, uh, things changed completely. Uh. It's the end of the war, and they reserve all the good jobs for the uh, veterans. Yeah. And, and if we graduate maybe a, a couple of years early, earlier or later, uh, there would be, uh, be a better chance of us to get a job. And that's what happened to their brother, Milton Wong, who graduated a few years later from UBC and became a successful financier, making millions handling other people's money. He supported many charities and founded Vancouver's Dragon Boat Festival. His tireless philanthropy earned him the orders of BC and Canada. He's easygoing and, and he got a kind heart from most people. Milton never forgot his roots and the sacrifices older brothers made. Five years ago, he purchased the original building that housed their family's tailor shop. The Wongs were forced to move three decades ago after new owners gave them one month's notice. Uh, Milton just bought it because of, uh, for a sentimental reason, I guess. Uh, that's where the tailor shop was, right on the corner. We were there uh, for 50 years. Milton died of cancer just a few weeks ago. In the nearly 10 decades of business, celebrities from Sean Connery to Arnold Schwarzenegger have had suits made by the Wongs. But it's the local clientele that's made Modernize successful. When I want to feel good and remember the history of the city, I just take a look in my jacket and I see the label, Modernized Tailors. I talk to the old guys about where they got their suits. It was always, you go down to Modernized Tailor, it's the cheapest around, it's the best suits. At 89, Bill Wong still goes to work five days a week. There used to be dozens of tailors in Chinatown. Today, Modernize is the last one. Mass manufacturing has killed the business. When Bill retires, there'll be no more tailors in the Wong family. All the, uh, all the sewing is uh, mostly done on the factory, but fine tailoring uh, takes a lot of time. You sew and you, uh, you iron as you go, and then there's a lot of hand stitches involved. I guess there's not demand for fine tailoring. 